when I first moved to town, I sat under your preaching very, very profitably a number six years ago. And uh, a friend of mine said, well, one of the wonderful things about Rob's preaching is you will hear the word imputation in almost every sermon. Now, again, a word that maybe some of our listeners don't know. Why on earth would it be, and I think that's just about true, I hear, I've heard it quite often from your pulpit, why on earth would it be that that word, imputation, could you say what it is, why would it appear in so many of your sermons? Because it ultimately is the heart of the nature of the Christian gospel, hmm. that our sin is imputed to Christ. Hmm. He was sinless and remained sinless. Hmm but he bore a judgment that was ours, and that judgment was because our sin was imputed to him, and our standing as believers is because he imputes his righteousness to us, and because God's requirement for anyone to have fellowship with him is righteousness, mm. and we clothed in our own sin, we who are sinners by nature, and then verify that by every act and thought of our lives, we find that our righteousness is in Christ. Hmm. And it is because of his life, his death, imputed to us, his obedience to the law, meaning that we no longer under its condemnation. His sacrifice in our place means that our sin has been atoned for. All that imputed to us means that our standing as believers is wholly dependent upon the work of Christ, upon the person of Christ. Mm. And so it is the central heart of the gospel. That's who we are. And how could that be important? I could see in Paul, or maybe in the gospels, but in Psalms or Genesis or Leviticus, how could you find that same message? Well, our Lord Jesus Christ on the road to Emmaus made clear that all of the scripture spoke of him. And within the scripture, you see both sign and shadow, that they are all pointing to the work, the person of Christ, the expectation. And so you see an embryo in the Old Testament, mm -hmm. that which is fulfilled in the person of Christ, expounded in the letters of Paul and of John, and ultimately seen completed with the vision of John in the book of the Revelation. Mm -hmm.